Yeah. Um, it's, you know, obviously we know the films are coming to an end. You still have two more left and you're in the middle of shooting it. But what, what's it going to be like for you to wake up one morning and go, oh my God, I don't have to go to set and I'm not going to see everybody every day? The thing is, I just don't ever, f I don't believe it. I just don't ever feel like it's ever going to be over. And I think, I think it, it's going to live on through, you know, new generations of children will keep reading the books, watching the films. You know, I, um, we're splitting the last book into two parts, so I have a ton of filming to finish on that. And, um, you know, and then there's the theme park and <laughs> goodness knows what. So I just, I don't ever feel like I'm not going to feel connected or feel a part of it, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, how helpful has it been for you to be able to go off and do other projects as Daniel has and Rupert, and, and then you guys come back to set? How has that helped you as an actor? I think it's been uh, really helpful. I think um, I went off and made a small film for the BBC called Ballet Shoes, and uh, I also made an animated film called The Tale of Despero. And, um, you know, doing, even though they were small projects, just going away, doing something different, um, I learned so much. And I think the filmmakers really saw a difference in my performance because they really thought that I'd taken something away and I'd learned something. So that was really rewarding, and I'm really glad that I, you know, I went and did different things. Yeah. Does it still amaze you after all this time, you know, when you go to premieres in, at Lon in London, like where fans, thousands of fans are standing there in the pouring rain, you know, just to get a glimpse, and of course here in New York last night, and yeah. does it, you know, do you still like, wow? <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed, you know, and usually with a film series, you know, you'll watch the first one, it'll be hugely successful, and then, you know, after that point, things start kind of dropping off a bit. You know, the second one's maybe a little bit less successful, the third one, everyone's like, oh, it just was nowhere near as good as the first. But with Harry Potter, they just seem to be, keep getting bigger and better every single time, and I, I keep thinking that's impossible, but it, it seems to keep happening, and it's, um, it's, it's so exciting. It just seems to gain more momentum and I think we're reaching an older audience now as well than we ever were before so it, our audience is even bigger and it's it's just mad <laughs> really yeah hard, um, it's unbelievable really still is yeah. unbelievable. I would think by now that you Daniel and Rupert are basically finishing each other's sentences and stuff and I know that for Deathly Hallows we're gonna see the big kiss with Rupert and that must have been awkward <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was bloody awkward. I, pff, I don't know what to tell you. It was very, very strange. Um, you know, he's practically like my big brother, and you know, I've I've grown up with him. So, you know, I had to be very professional and really try and get myself into character to be able to to deal with it and to deal with the pressure. You know, more than anything else, there's been so much media interest in this in this kiss. So. Um, Anyway, we did it, and uh, I, I hope it will look good. Lots of giggles, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait, and you're fantastic in this, as always. Thank you Thank so much. Thank you so much. much. Always Thank lovely you. to talk to you.